Here we go, baby! Oh. <laughs> Welcome back to the Tacoma Beach channel where, as you all know, it's all about the taco. Today we're in South Florida at Esteem and we're gonna be building out my cousin's Tacoma. Look at how badass that is. Holy. A couple years ago, I made a mistake of telling my 11 cousins that if they purchased a Tacoma, I would one day build it out for them. And well, they've grown and one of them has already purchased a Tacoma. So we're gonna be fully building it out with over $10,000 worth of products. And it starts now. So I had my Tacoma senior year of high school, got it bone stock, and I would see the forums and see everything that people were doing to their Tacomas, and I wanted that. And I didn't have the money to make that happen, and now I'm able to give that opportunity to my cousin. I'm Sergio Carrion, I'm 17, and I'm a junior at Jesuit High School. Mate told the cousins that the first one to get a Tacoma would, you know, have it modded and you know, get to rock the Tacoma Beast logo. I kind of just gave Mata the keys to my Tacoma and trusted the process. I've, I've always late night watched his videos of him building the trucks and so I, I trust in, in what he has planned. Because we're in Florida, my cousin doesn't really need an off-road Tacoma, although he would have loved to have one. And uh, we have two options here. We can build him a Street Queen Florida truck or we can build him an off-road looking Tacoma that's capable, definitely not as capable as a four-wheel drive Tacoma, but that looks really, really good, right? So we're gonna be going with the Eibach Pro Truck lift system. For me, this is the best bang for the buck kit. It's solid, guys. Definitely recommend it. So I don't know if you guys noticed, but these, uh, Eibach coilovers are actually kind of used. These are the coilovers and rear shocks that used to be on my third gen. They're kind of being given to Sergio now. Dude, I know I told you we we're gonna do King, but eventually we'll make it happen. We're slowly gonna work our way up. He really wants a pre-runner. Baby steps, we'll get there, man. All right, front suspension has been installed. For the back, we're just gonna go with the Eibach one inch block. A simple and quick way to lift the back and match the front is with these blocks. It's also budget friendly. Now that the suspension has been installed, we're gonna move to installing the rear tail lights. One side has been removed. Basically unplug all the connectors and then just plug all the connectors, it's that simple. For Sergio's build, we're gonna be going with the Infinity tail lights. These are tail lights that are blowing up on social media. They're going wild out there. And the second we drop these, in a matter of a week, we completely sold out. I managed to save a set for Sergio. They're going on his truck, and I cannot wait for us to install them and see how they look. Today's video is brought to you by Onyx Off-Road. For less than a tank of gas, $29.99, Onyx Off-Road Premium is your navigation and trail discovery tool in the palm of your hands. It features trails, unlimited save maps, photos, waypoints, 3D maps, and more. Best part is, you can use our promo code Tacoma Beast to receive 20% off your first year. So whether you're an experienced off-roader or just starting out, Onyx Off-Road has you covered. So I kept telling Sergio, I'm like, dude, your truck is going to look so much better on 35s. And since he's not really going to be off-roading, he told me, Mate, like, I'm really concerned about miles per gallon. Let's stick with 33-inch tires. So there, I had to really work with the wheels in order to give the truck a really nice stance, make him stand out. We decided to go with the Yokohama Geolanders all-terrain. The tire size is 295 by 70 on 17-inch wheels with the Falcon TH Seekers negative 38 offset. It's gonna make the truck look really nice. Beto right now just finished removing the front grille. He's working on removing the front bumper. We're gonna be installing the new TRD Pro grille. It's got a light bar in the middle, looks super awesome. And then the reason why we're removing the bumpers is because we're gonna have to cut it. And then also we're installing the new Alpha X exclusive version two headlights. They look so awesome.
This is my first time installing this grill with the light bar that you see here. Basically, you tap into the headlight with this uh, harness that's provided with the grill, and then you connect that to the grill itself. This is my first time doing it. Let's see if it works. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the DRLs. Oh, it lit up! Look at how awesome this is. All right, so we confirmed that the grill light does work. We've gone ahead and mounted it to the front of the Tacoma. Let's turn it all on and see how it looks. Oh, that looks so good. And then we have the option to do white DRL or, or amber the way you guys see it right here. So I think amber with the green looks really nice. And I love how this grill looks right now. We've gone ahead and installed the headlights and the grill. We've mounted the wheels and tires, and now it's time for us to start prepping the front bumper for the Body Armor Highline Pro Series. I really like this bumper, it's nice and sturdy. Price is great, it's always in stock, and you have the option to add wings on the side, which we're actually gonna be doing and you guys get to see. All right, fellas, so here we have the wings of the Body Armor Highline bumper, as you guys can see. This is something that you can add on to it later on. These are gonna go in right here. And it gives a really nice profile to the front end of the vehicle. So we're gonna go ahead, start prepping the front bumper, and get these both installed. We just finished the first cut. Like I said, that cut will allow you to fit the Highline front bumper. Now we're gonna go ahead and start cutting the sides so we can fit the wings. Look at how awesome that looks. So as you guys saw, part of the fender liner just came off and one of the benefits of the side wings is now take a look at all the clearance that he now has. We don't have to do any trimming up in the front. We're only gonna have to worry about trimming in the back. All right, so Beto just finished installing the front bumper and verifying that all his cuts were nice and straight. It looks really, really good. Later, we're gonna have to remove it so we can install the lighting. So they haven't arrived yet, so we're gonna wait on that. And while we do, we're gonna install the Alpha equipped carbon fiber snorkel. You have two options. You can go with the short or long. My cousin decided to go with the long version. And it's really cool because they include this kind of template. It's also made out of glass. Uh, that you just apply it, it fits really nice here, you can align it and that way you can make your drills and the cut perfect. All right, fellas, so before we cut the front wings off, Guillermo got a little bit ahead of us. We're gonna be installing the rear bumper. There's two options you can go with. You can mount it to their brackets and mount it directly to the rear bumper. There's no cutting needed. Or instead of using their brackets, you can mount it to the actual stock bumper so you can keep the hitch. If you don't do that, you will not have a hitch. If you guys want that clean look, go with that option. If you guys want to maintain your hitch, simply mount it to the original brackets and hitch that come with the stock, stock vehicle. So right now, Beto's removing all the plastics from it and then we're gonna just mount that to the body armor rear bumper. Let's do it. The last 10 years, we have never installed steps on any of the vehicles that we've built. And since my cousin's not really gonna be off-roading it, uh, we're gonna be installing these new step bars from Steelcraft. 
They're pretty cool, not ideal for off-roading. Actually, I do not recommend you use these for off-roading at all. These are just a step into your vehicle. They look really nice. And one really cool feature I like about them is that if you did want to somewhat go and hit the trails, obviously nothing that is gnarly enough where the rock's gonna hit your side panel, but you kind of want to do it, and this is gonna limit your height clearance, you can always remove these. They come right out. You go, you do what you gotta do, some easy trail, but you're not having to worry about these things breaking off like the majority of the time we see out there on social media. This video is going viral. The best thing is you don't have to drill any holes onto the frame. Toyota already has pre-drilled holes in there and that's basically what you'll be drilling into. There's two right here, two right here, and two in the back. Right now I'm gonna hold the steps for Guillermo and he's gonna bolt them down. The snorkel and steps are finally done being installed. The last thing on our list is to install the hair tick lights that you guys see up here. For the front bumper, we decided to go with our 20 inch clear light. And then on the side wings, we're going with their six inch light in amber. These are combo. And then for the back, we went with their quattro in white. So you can really shine that driveway when it hits it in reverse. I love having these in the back. Let's get started with the install. All right, so because we've gone up in tire size, we're starting to rub a little bit in the back. In the front, we don't have that problem because we went with a high clearance front bumper. Now for the back, we do have to trim some of this plastic off. Beto's gonna come in here, use this body mount plate. He's already applied it there. He's made a, an outline for it. He's gonna be trimming that off and then inserting this plate and welding that there. And that should give us enough clearance. Here, guys, we're gonna be adding the Miso Customs dual zone climate control rings. And those are gonna go right here. He chose military green to match the outside of the car. And to install this is extremely easy. All you're gonna do is grab a flathead screwdriver, a tiny one like this one, and you're just gonna pry them out. This comes right off. This comes right out. And once those have come off, you're just gonna grab them. You're gonna move them until you feel like they, they kind of like fall in place. So here you can see they fall in place and then you're just gonna push it. Now we're gonna repeat that for the two missing knobs. And just like that guys, you have matching climate rings to the outside of your truck. Looks so sick. All right guys, my cousin's about to get here. We're running a little bit out of time. The last thing we're gonna do is remove these boxes back here. My cousin hates it. He asked me, he begged me for it. He's like, dude, please make sure you take that off. It takes away so much room back here. And I agree, I don't really see the point in this. Let me know if you guys do. So right now we're gonna go ahead, remove this so he can have more space. And uh, we should be done. We should be ready to show him the truck. Cannot wait. What's up, Sergi? You ready? Yeah, I'm You're nervous. I'm nervous. All right, guys, I'm here with my cousin, Sergio. He came all the way from Tampa. Dude, I'm so stoked you're here. How long have we been talking about this build for? Before I got my license. Which was how long ago? How old were you? I don't know, maybe 13. We started talking about me getting a Tacoma. <laughs> I don't know. How old are you now? I'm 17, turning 18 in like a month or two. Hell yeah, you ready yeah. to go see your truck? Yeah. Let's do it. Everyone told me to stay really far from the doorway. 
So as I was creeping towards you know, the opening slowly. My face is constantly just looking at Sergio's face. I want to see his reaction. I want to see what he does. And I just see him kind of like put his hands in his mouth. And I'm like, we did it, man. Here we go, baby. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Holy. Do, do you recognize it? That thing is huge. It's insane, right? So check it out. Oh. We got the grill, to, the amber grill to match the headlights. Amber oh. fogs. Check out this snorkel, man. Real carbon fiber right here. It'll breathe from up here, up at the top. And then steps for your mom so she does, stops complaining yeah, that she can't get on. Go. You got 33 inch tires. I know I wanted to push for 35s. Yeah. We went with 33s. Check out the infinity tail lights. You like those? Yeah, that is. Body armor, bumper. rear steel bumper, and then and you asked us to take off the coolers oh. that you had back there. How much more space do you have? Oh my God, this is a life changer. <laughs> what oh. do you think? Just like, shocked throughout my entire body. Car I saw every day, unrecognizable, beautiful. Oh, it's so a coma beast on the side. Falcon T8 Seeker wheels. I love this offset on these tires. That's why they look so wide. You know, you got a three inch lift now. Get on it, get on it. So out of excitement, I'm seeing Sergio there. He's looking at the truck. I already got stoked. I got excited. And immediately I go up to Sergio and I tell him, dude, guess what? This is only phase one. We're gonna do phase two. And this is just phase one. So. I literally just pulled that one right out of emotion out of that one time I was there. And now we gotta do phase two. We gotta make it happen. I don't know when, but it's gonna happen. Currently in my mind, there is no question. Um, I'm never gonna sell this, right? This is my truck. Thank you guys for tuning in. Huge thanks to Esteem for making this build happen. If it wasn't for them, we would have not been able to happen. Beto, Roberto, Esteban, you guys are awesome. One of the hottest shops down here in South Florida. They can do whatever you guys throw them. They're working on six by six trucks. They're awesome. Make sure to check them out. We also have new merch out, so if you guys like what we do, make sure to support us. Head on over to TacomaBees.com to our merch collection. And if you guys enjoy this video, make sure to smash that like button. If you haven't already done so, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. That's it? We're done with all the questions? Cool. All right, hold on, hold on. Keep rolling. Sit up. Sit up. Open this. Why What's this? Die? Open it. What's this? Oh, no. Yeah. No. You got me these, dude? These are awesome. It's a collaboration with Nike SB, which stands for skateboarding. And I remember when you were younger, you used to make skateboarding videos all the time. So I... I I knew you wanted them and I had to get them. Thank you, dude. Thank you, man. You're the freaking man, dude. Hell yeah. I think I got a bigger gift than the one you got. <laughs> <laughs> These are sick. <laughs> Thanks, man.